Hey all, Russ here, RVR TV. Good morning, how you doing today? Hey, I'm out here. I'm gonna start at Scat and Wash, right at the uh, entrance. Gonna turn around up here, and I'm gonna show you where all the services are for Quartzite, the town of Quartzite. And where you can get free Wi-Fi, trash, disposal, just a few of the areas where you might need it here from the RTR. So I'm going to start right here at the entrance and then we'll go backwards and I'll show you which directions and what streets are on and everything else. So let's do it. Okay, Scat and Wash starts on East Dome Rock Road, then we're, this is Kewen. This is actually within the town limits. The rigs, the RVs, trailers, campers, vans are really coming to town now. Now that's after Christmas, right before New Year's. Okay, this is Regals Avenue. This street will take you straight up to exit 19, about a quarter mile up here. On the left, there's some old old uh, RV parks. There's several of them in there. Some might have RV sites. Other ones are just park models. On the right, there's that big mobile home park and also the big Mormon church with the big steeple. People talk about that all the time. Okay, we're getting up here and we're gonna cross over Interstate 10. This is exit 19. This is the best exit to take in Quartzite. Exit 17, a couple miles up the road, gets so jammed up because of all the big trucks. Pilot and Loves is up there, and them trucks just tie it up. And it's difficult to get through up here. Alrighty. We're going to make a left here on, this will be East Main Street. And at this end of town, this is where the RV dealers hang out. The ones that are here, I call them seasonal. They normally set up like November, and they'll stay through February on both sides of the road here. Years ago, there used to be more dealers, but they kind of, some of them have dwindled away. The sales weren't that good. Plus, the sales taxes here are really high as well when you buy a recreational vehicle. I will be doing a video about buying an RV here shortly. Kind of what I learned through the years buying here. Okay, look for this big green sign up here. It says Quartzite Town Hall. We're gonna make a right. This is uh, Plymouth Avenue. This is before you get up to the dollar store and all that. Here's Plymouth Avenue, and we're going to head, this is basically north on Plymouth. And we'll go up here, and I'll show you, and it's mainly all the town buildings and whatnot that we're going to stop and take a quick look at. There is a walking path on the right-hand side. It goes quite a ways. It goes a long ways. This is all around the park and everything up here. There's benches that stop and sit. A lot of people will come out here and enjoy a good walk. You can walk your dog, all of that up through here. Very convenient. Okay, we're going to make a right. Right here on the corner is the Quartzsite Police Department. Really good bunch of guys. I know the chief real well. He's a good friend of mine. But right here, if you need emergency services, there's Quartzsite PD. Okay, get turned around here. The weather has been chilly, actually. High in the 50s, lows in the 30s. I actually had to unhook my water hose last night so it wouldn't freeze up. Of course, freeze here lasts about an hour. Then during the day when the sun's out, right now it's, oh, 
mid 50s I guess. Really windy though, really cuts through you. Okay, off to the right is Town Hall. We're gonna make a right here. This is where Town Hall, library, everything is in here. It's where you buy your business license. This is East Quail Trail. You just make a right and you just take your first immediate right into this driveway. They got Wi-Fi antennas on the building. They broadcast free Wi-Fi here. All you gotta do is go in the library and get the passcode. And it's pretty decent Wi-Fi. It's not like the rest of the town. There's an aerial shot. Shows you the complex. It's a pretty good sized building. And also free Wi-Fi at the library. And it's a nice library as well. Very nice. All right, we'll keep on trucking. Go back out here to East Quail Trail. We're gonna make a left. That building straight across is the uh, courthouse. You don't wanna go there. <laughs> okay, we're gonna get back on Plymouth. See the airplanes over there? There's a little water fountain. They do a lot of ceremonies there. The immediate left is a skateboard park. There's the old football field, ball diamond. There's picnic areas all over, playground, tons of parking. You can park a rig in there. It's day use only, the town park. But they welcome everybody there. The community center's back in there too. Okay, we're gonna make a left here. This is the quartzite dog park. And it's really cool. I mean, they grow grass year-round. It's all fenced. There's two areas. A lot of people come here with their doggies. And then straight across this parking lot, there's public restrooms in that uh, brick building right there that's open to the public. And right next to it is this huge pavilion. You can have a small gathering there. Picnic tables everywhere, barbecue. It's open to the public. Once again, this is all the town of Quartzite. There's an aerial view. You can see the dog park, the two grassy areas, pavilion, and the public restrooms. All for public use, and it's free to use to anyone. Great, right, let's go get back on Plymouth. I've come here when Scooby was still around. I used to bring Scooby to this dog park all the time. She loved it. Okay, we'll head on up. Now the very next dirt road to the left We'll stop. I'll make a quick stop here and show you. There's another park, and it's called Celia's Rainbow Garden. It's kind of a memorial park, but it's really cool. You can picnic there, walk around. Go back in here. There's also that disc golf. They have a disc golf course here. You can. Uh, Bring your disc and play golf. Then over to the left is Memorial Bells. But let me get parked up here and uh, I'll fly the drone just real quick. I have other videos about Celia's Rainbow Garden. I'll post them in the links. So let me get parked here. Alright, up we go. Celia was a daughter to the Paul, the bookstore owner, and his wife Joanne. She passed away years ago. Left a big impact. This started out as a tiny memorial. It grew into this massive park here. I don't know how many acres it is now, and there's all kinds of memorials. It's really cool to walk through. It's free. And just enjoy it. You can really come spend some quality time here. Once again, I'll have a link to my older videos 
in the description that shows the park in detail. Don't tell anyone. This is where I come and get a lot of my sunset pictures and videos. Is back in this little park here. Ready back on Plymouth. Gonna make a left. Okay, to the immediate left as well is the RC fly flying field. It's uh, like a mini airport. Very popular. People come from all over the country to fly their remote control aircraft there. They actually have an air show a couple times a year with uh, those larger scaled remote control planes. They have Facebook groups, all kinds of stuff. Check them out. Okay, we're out of the park area. This dead ends. We make a left. Plymouth now turns into Tyson Drive. We're going to head straight on down here. to the medical center. There's a small medical, couple doctors work out of here. They got imaging. I think they do blood tests and all that. It's kind of an eight to five thing. There's no hospital in Quartzsite. So it's, I wouldn't call it an urgent care, but they do have medical facilities here for doctor's appointments and whatnot. The two closest hospitals to here is Parker, Arizona, and also Blythe, California. Then some people, they go into Goodyear, down towards Phoenix, whatever. Okay, off to the right. These are some really cool guys. Quartzsite Fire Department. They're all over the place, and they help a lot of people. I can't speak highly enough. Chief Hess and his crew. Hats off to uh, Quartzsite Fire. They got a full time staff, all kinds of trucks, emergency response. They'll even come out and grab a rattlesnake out of your yard. <laughs> then in that picture, you can see there's also a Care Flight helicopter, which gets used often here. There's a shot of the helicopter. It, they're manned seven days a week, 24-7. Always have pilots on duty and trained nurses. They saved a lot of lives by air flighting them. Because it's a long ways, I mean, to get to a hospital from here. It can be quite a ways. A lot of accidents, too, on the Interstate 10. Fatal, I mean major accidents. Okay, we're going to make a right. We're up here. We're going to make a right from Tyson. And now this is Central Avenue or Arizona 95. We're going to go up here about, oh, not quite a half mile. And I'll show you where the transfer station is where you can dump off your trash for free. site offers free trash disposal because they don't want it left anywhere. They don't want it in the desert, especially with uh, BLM shut down. Uh, they're hauling trash left and right at the town's expense. This is all free. You can come out here. It doesn't matter where you're from and drop off your trash. Now they do have limiting hours. It's like Sunday through Wednesday or whatever. But you can read the sign right there. But once again, it's free, and if you need trash disposal, this is where you bring it. Okay, I'm going to get turned around. I will launch a drone out front, give you a little uh, view from up in the air. 
But this is quartzite. Uh, I mean, their resources here are small. It is a small town, even though there's tens of thousands of people that show up here. It's built for an infrastructure of about 5,000 people. And that's it. So their resources here get tapped pretty heavily. Okay, up we go. There's the transfer station. That's where you take your trash. Pan over to the right. And that's the sewage treatment plant. Always look for that cell tower there and you'll find this place. But I hope this is helpful. Uh, Quartzite offers a lot of amenities for free to all of us RVers. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button down below. Follow along on the next adventure. All right, this is Russ signing off now. Hope everyone has a great day. Don't forget to travel safe. Talk soon.